Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? What's going on? Hey, check this out. I'm back with another video for y'all. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing them now, huh? Oh, y'all feeling a little heat coming. What's going on out there, everybody? They say a dog. They say a dog is a man's best friend. Treat him right. Both of y'all gonna win. They say a dog is a man's best friend. Treat him right. Both of y'all gonna win. I'm talking win-win. I'm talking win-win. I'm talking win-win. I'm talking win-win. Hey, we accelerated, got motivated. motivated. Yeah, we took the stairs while the rest the waited. waited. Felt yeah. obligated to achieve dreams. Dream. But my dog gonna play cause we all we kings. kings. Do it for my team, do it for my, for team. my team. Try to take my dog food, you gon' see a beam. We want the cream, y'all can keep the fame. Yeah, we both deal with bullies, but we ain't the same. Hey, what's going on out there? My dog Chain what's got on? him from the choker. When I got that recipe, I told him game, game over. over. Accelerated up an echelon. If you got your money right, come and get your son. Your dog is a man's best friend. Treat him right. Both of y'all gonna win. They say a dog is a man's best friend. <laughs> Hey, check this out. Um, I had had a few people hit me up here lately, um, which I've had different people over the time uh, keep asking me the same question that some more people had just asked me. So, figured I'd make a video. Go ahead and break it down and explain to you, you know, my point of view. I mean, everybody is different; may do a different way. I'm going to talk about the kennel. Um, have a lot of people come on that's thinking about um, starting, you know, building their own kennel. Uh, whether it's a uh, prefab kennel or like a pole barn kennel like my own. Um, hold up before we do that. So I'm getting ready to set. Some work, y'all. Look at that. Hmm. I need to get my grass cut, y'all, so don't be uh, don't judge me. <laughs> get that last cut on out the way. Still look pretty good though, but still need to get that grass cut. But, hey, but anyway, check this out. <clears throat> um, like I said, I'm gonna give you a few tips that help me. Uh, it may help you too. Um. First off, understanding the kennel size, uh, what size you want, um, what are your plans. First, you got to plan the whole thing out on basically what size of a kennel, not do you want, but what do you need. Your needs on when you're doing your kennel, what are you trying to accomplish, what are you trying to do. Uh, when I say that, meaning like uh, how many dogs are you trying to have, um, and you always have to look at two. First, you got to look at how many dogs you plan on having. But also, if you breed, you got to also have a spot that have the whole puppies. Okay, I know a lot of people always run into issues where um, what they do is just say if you got a little spot and you got, uh, we'll say, two kennels. You got a male and a female. You breed them. You have puppies. You want to try to sell your puppies. Uh, puppies ain't really hitting like you really want them to. So now you stuck with the fact now that they got to go because you don't have room to house the puppies. So now you get a little desperate. You tend to drop the prices or do whatever you got to do, give them away or whatever because it didn't go as planned because you was not prepared. That's one of the part of planning. If you already know that you're gonna have, we'll say two females and a male. Okay, that's three kennel spots. You wanna at least double that up. You wanna at least have six kennel spots. And when I say that meaning, uh, if you ever have puppies, you got an extra spot for puppies. If you choose to keep one or two puppies out the litter, you already got a spot for them. That's planning ahead right there. 
Okay. Um, also, the size of kennels. <clears throat> okay, this is one of the things that I didn't realize was important till I went through it, designed everything, and talked with some people and found out that I was doing it wrong. Okay, <clears throat> just say if you're going to get a building. I don't care if you're going to get a, like a little prefab building, like a little shed building. I always think about the length and the height, meaning like my building is a 30 by 50, okay? I was going to actually do 40 by 40, all right? I was going to actually do a 40 by 40 building. So we did the research, kept researching on it, thinking about it, talking with people, and found out that a 40 by 40 is a square. You don't never want to do a square. You always want to do a rectangle when you're talking about a kiln. Okay? And the reason I say that is, if you do a, just say 40 by 40, that means you limit your space because you're, you're 40 wide and 40 long, okay? All right, you got me? Okay, so, well, my bad. My bad. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, 30 by 30, 40 by 40, whatever it is, as long as the height and the length of it is the same, you was in a square. You never want to do a kennel in a square. You always want to do it in a rectangle because you can actually you actually have more room with the same square footage. Okay? All right. Let me let me break that down to y'all and explain to you. All right. My building is a 30 by 50. I was going to go 40 by 40. The 40, it was going to be wide and 40 long. Okay, but if you take it and you break it down and go 30 wide, now I got an extra 10 foot to go long. So now I can go 30 wide, 50 long. Okay, now when you think about that, the length, now you got more room to add more kennels. Okay? See, so now if I would have stayed, just saying like, if I would have stayed at the same length, uh, talked with somebody, and I think they want to go with a 30 by 30. And Think about it. If they did a 30 by 30, that's a square. You always want to do a rectangle. Okay? All right? So if he did a 30 by 30 or she did a 30 by 30, that means lengthwise you can only hold six kennels down one side. Six kennels down the other side. Okay? Now once you do that, that's only 12 kennels. All right? So you can actually have 12 kennels. And when I say five by fives, six down one side, six down the other side, and you got all that space in the middle. Okay? Now, this is the thing. If you switch it up and you take it off and go 20 wide and you go 40 long, now you can hold eight kennels on each side. You got me? That's 16 kennels. That's a big difference right there. Same square footage, 30 by 30. And a 20 by 40 is the same exact square footage. A 40 by 40 and 30 by 50 is the same square footage. I just went from a square to a rectangle. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. So if you're ever thinking about a kennel, it's just the first part of the uh, uh, thoughts on a kennel, if you're thinking about doing it. And I'm just going to share with you on the first part of it, which would be never go square, always go rectangle. Hey, if y'all would, smash that like button for me. Hit that bell notification so y'all can stay updated on all the latest content up here at EAR Bullets. But like I say, y'all, I'm back. Oh, yeah, we doing it now, y'all. But like I say, I hope that helped you. If it do help, if you're thinking about doing it, if you would, drop a comment down there. Let me know that that was a big help to you. And I will have you some more content coming on the kennel. Uh, some other stuff that's, that are a must-have. And must must have okay if you want to run a successful kennel have your good setup time 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 don't rush it take your time with it do it right the first time that's another tip i just throw at the end so like i say that's all i got for y'all today and like i said i just want to tell y'all about the kennel but you know what i got to take y'all on the inside 
I literally let you see the dogs before we go. Let's go, y'all. What's up, everybody? We in the kennel, y'all. Check this out. I will be giving y'all a little insight, but first, let me get y'all that 360 view there. Y'all see how everything working hell. See the dogs up in here just chilling. But check this out, though. All right, my kennel is 30 feet wide. So that's actually from this wall over here all the way over to that wall over there. It's 30 feet wide. All right. So imagine if you had a kennel that was 20 feet wide. All right. So it'll only be 10 feet less. But this side over here, 40 feet long. The part that I just used for the dogs. I got another section over there. But just say right here, that 40 foot can hold eight five by five kennels down one side. So imagine if I can get eight down one side, I can put eight down the other side. Now by me having that extra space of being 30 feet, I actually can have two rows in the middle and still have a walk, five foot walk space on each side. But if it's somebody like cost efficient, somebody that's trying to do it and, and wanted to be cost efficient, then you really don't need all that. If you just want something that's at least, just say uh, you got five foot, five by five kennels on one side, five by five on the other side, that's 10 right there. Then you got a five foot walk space. If you just budgeting right, that's all you really need. You got your walk space area, you got the other space. So that's actually only 15 feet wide. So you imagine if you went 15 feet wide, then you could go way longer. If you, if, I mean, if you got the space for it. So think about it, if you was 15 feet wide and 40 foot long, that's still 16 kennels off in there. Then if you choose to say, okay, well, the front area, I'm not gonna put no kennels there. I'll put a little wall there and I might make my little office. It's just something to think about y'all. But like I say, let y'all see what 30 feet across from one side to the other side look like. And like I told y'all, this is the section over here. Uh, as y'all can see, give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about. All right, this little side right here. You see when y'all look at these kennels, you see I got a walk space between them. All right, those are five by five kennels on each side right there. You got four on one side, you got three on the other side, which allowed me a walk space right here. If I didn't have this nursery, then I could just go all the way down continuously the same way, and I could do the same thing on the opposite side that a double mimic this side right here. So it actually could hold eight on this side, eight on that side, and 16 down the middle, if I chose to do it like that, but I, I don't want that many kennels. But anyway, just to let you get a demonstration, if you just had a regular building, and they say you don't want it, but um, 15 feet wide, that'll be just a little bit wider from one end of the kennel over here with these at, to those over there. And you see you got your walk space right down through the middle, okay? So just imagine if you had one that was, um, we'll say 15 feet long, well, we'll say 20 feet long. 20 feet long, you already see right there. That's four kennels down that side, four down the other one. That's eight kennels. That's if you want to start out small and then grow from there. But just want to let y'all kind of see what it look like. Uh, also be having people that don't watch all my videos. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I just appreciate the ones you do watch. But y'all always asking me where I get them kennels from. Y'all already know ain't but two places I shop. When it comes to stuff like this, that tractor supply and that Lowe's. And I did not get them from Lowe's. I got them from tractor supply. If you go back down there and look through my videos, you will see where I actually took you on a trip to Trike Supply and let you see the kilns and I went and picked them up, came back, assembled them and all that. But I know you probably ain't got time, probably a little bit busy, and I understand that. So that's why I'm going to tell y'all now. The kilns did come from Tractor Supply. The feeders right here did come from Tractor Supply. The water bowls down there. See them? The little metal galvanized. I did another video with them again. They did come from Tractor Supply, they about $5. Uh, so think about kennels, my feeders, the hanging feeders, the 
the water bowls, they all came from track supply. Uh, accessories, a lot of my accessories are gonna be in, came from Lowe's. Um, let me see, I think that's it. But everybody be asking about the kennels. The kennels did come from tractor supply. Uh, they actually five by tens, I broke them down and made five by fives out of them. So like I said, y'all, I hope this helped y'all or the ones out there that's thinking about doing some kennels and I will do another video. This right here, just kind of like a little introduction on, on square versus a rectangle. You do want the rectangle. You do not want the square kennels. Remember that. Then we'll discuss some other must-haves off in there too. But everybody out there, Zoe, Bailey, talk to them. Talk to them, girls. Talk to them. Huh? Talk to them. Bailey, Bailey. Watch them, Bailey. Watch them, Bailey. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them, y'all. Y'all ready for something to jump off, ain't you? But anyway, y'all. Hey, again, y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, y'all got my man behind the camera over there. I ain't going to put him in front of the camera right now because he all busy. But I'm going to let him go ahead and say it. Y'all are knowing when y'all hear the voice. Anything you want to say to the people out there? Yep. Just remember to smash the like button. Hit the bell notification so you can stay updated. The latest content here at EAR Boys, everybody. That's right, y'all. Y'all heard it, baby. Hey, and again, y'all, thanks oh, for watching. Oh, I wanted to say that part. Oh, well, then go ahead. You can oh, say it, too. Oh, man, you, ain't, you ain't been talking to him in a while. Go ahead and talk to him. Um, so just remember, everybody, keep grinding. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody.